Hey everybody, update time. So the market is very strong today. I bet some of you got a little bit concerned with that late sell-off yesterday, which wiped out a very strong advance, at least initially. You can't fall for those things. Flows are strong. I said, you know, maybe back and forth until Wednesday when we get that Social Security payment. That's 14.6, almost 15 billion we get four of those a month, plus sometimes a supplemental. I mean, those are important payouts. People wait for those checks or those deposits. They have an impact. Anyway, I see some of you wisely have been uh, purchasing my video course, Understanding the Daily Treasury Statement. I mean, apparently, you've been listening to my commentaries here You've been picking up on some of these things I've been talking about with government spending flows, and you're curious, and you want to learn more. So you're buying that video course, which is great, because I get into it very, very deeply. Every single line item of expenditure, uh, how to analyze that, how to keep a, a very simple database and do all the analytics so if you're interested, just go to my website, www.pitbulleconomics.com and click on the tab that says Courses, Courses. And it's the Understanding the Daily Treasury Statement video course, and it's 99 bucks. It'll be the best 99 bucks you ever spent, believe me. Uh, and like I, like I always say, like nobody knows about this stuff. And even if I you know, uh, a bunch of you buy it. I have no fear whatsoever that this approach or this understanding uh, will be widely embraced because nearly all of mainstream economics just completely ignores this, or if they do pay attention, they discount it. They make fun of it. They say, oh, it's government spending, so it's bad. But that's, that's completely wrong completely wrong. Anyway, um, I did mention yesterday in my new weekly uh, issue of MMT Trader, there were a couple of things in there, new developments. And of course, if you're interested in that, you can get the 30-day free trial again by going to www.pitbulleconomics.com, but this time clicking on the tab that says products. Anyway, a quick overview of what's going on. Uh, three things really coming together now. You know, I've been talking for a long time about the very strong fiscal flows here in the United States. And even though we have also strong economic headwinds, the spending is enough uh, to keep us expanding, not, you know, at a very strong pace, but enough to lift the stock market. Uh, you have China, which is expanding fiscally. We saw the January, February government spending um, statistics there up 12% year over year. Serious. And now, as I mentioned yesterday and last week, Japan embarking on its own fiscal stimulus plan, front-loading all of its public work spending for the first half of its fiscal year 2016, which started last week. That's almost $110 billion. Maybe not a massive fiscal stimulus, but a decent one nonetheless in, you know, what, the world's third largest economy? So pretty significant. Things are lining up. And by the way, I find it interesting that the gold bugs out there made no connection between gold's breakout rally and Japan's announcement of this new fiscal stimulus. They're connected. The gold bugs always try to connect things that are not connected, like monetary operations and hyperinflation. No connection. No connection. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. Maybe see you later. If not, for sure tomorrow. Bye.